Fans Corner, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a lovely day. I am. I have been working out. I have been doing the waist training. I started, I had to start back because the holidays got me and I'm scared to get on the scale, scared to shake my weight. But anyway, before we get into this love and hip hop review, I, I want you guys to click that thumbs up button and I want you guys to hit that subscribe button. And I want to say thank you and shout out to my new subscribers. I'm so thankful for you guys. Love and Hip Hop, it starts off with where it left off last week and Mo came to Ron and her family and everybody that was there and they were like, yo, what's up? what happened over there? I don't think she was on earth because she was like, drink with bye bye, bitch. Rashida's looking at her like, what is bye bye? And Lexi is like, come on, Mo, I know you did not just fuck this up on our big day. So... Lexi was just like, how can you let this guy, Cisco, who didn't even show up to your event on time, ruin your night to Cisco and Mariah? And they're outside, you know, about to get into the car. So Mariah, she rapping as always. She got to put on a performance for everybody. She's like, she spilled some good liquor there. My cranberry juice and my gin or whatever the hell she was sipping on. Cisco just looking at her like he wants to just pounce on her little self. Mo is BBOD. Bum bitches on deck. I want your money. I want Mo money. And she just, like I said before, she rapped. I'm like, girl, sit your ass down somewhere because ain't nobody got time for you to be putting on no performance. Ain't nobody even checking for you like that. And shout out to my friend who thought Mariah was Dominican. I'm going to need for you to get it all the way together. Peter Guns and Tara. Peter in the studio playing the piano or the keyboard or whatever with an unlit cigar. I was so focused on that unlit cigar and holding it in his mouth as if it was lit. How hard for, was it for you guys to find a lighter? Ups pops in Tara and Tara's just talking about I'm just going to be moving back into my apartment and how could you put me through this and yada 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 all the same shit she said last season. Peter was like, the reason why you don't want to leave is because you love me. We love each other. You don't want to let go because you love me. She was like, I never did say I didn't love you, Peter. I'm going to need for they, their storyline to be dropped and they can add somebody new because it's the same stuff. It's the same story over and over and over again. It's quite old, if you ask me. She just let him know that she's just going to be moving out. Basically, that was it. Like, Tara, you brought that on yourself. At a certain time, you can't no longer blame that person for how they mistreat you. Because if you sit there and dealt with it that long, at a certain time, it becomes your fault. So girl, I'm going to need for you to get it all the way together. And ain't no way you, could be, you should be talking about Amina the way you do. Because when you talk about her and point those fingers, and when you look in the mirror, bitch, you're looking right at yourself. Because the same way you got them is the same way you're going to lose them. Yandy and Mandisi's. They're at this park. I love this couple so much. Like, oh man, I love this couple. So they're at the park and DC's and Andy just let us know that his sentencing got postponed. So they're blessed to have that extra time. They plan at the park with their kids. It was a beautiful scene. Yandy and Bianca. So Yandy's at the studio. She's been there for an hour waiting on Bianca. Now Bianca pops up late. So Yandy's like, yo, what's up? And she was like, I had to do my hair. First of all, bitch, it don't take that long for you to put on a bra and some makeup and to take your soul in out of that scarf and those bobby pins. So don't even try. If I was Yandy, I would have went off and I was like, try the next bitch that will believe your story because I'm not buying it. Bye bye. Yandy was like, I know what may work for you. And she was like, Tara has this etiquette class that you could take. So... You could do that. And Bianca, like, I thought she was going to be an okay girl. But she, her head is so big. And I don't see why it's so big. Because, bitch, you only did chicken noodle soup and that was it. You was a one-hit wonder. And the way you going is going to continue to be that way. And I saw your little video, heard you. That was so ratchet. I did not like it. I didn't, your lyrics were whack. The ponytail that you had in, it was cute. But you could have got some bangs. I know my forehead is big. But it ain't that damn big. And why is your skin so snatched? Your skin look like it has on a waist trainer. 
Like, why is it so pulled back? I'm gonna need for you to get it together, boo. Mariah and her mama. Ciao. So Mariah has to leave her session to go pick her mom, bail her mom out of jail. She spent her rent money. I don't think I could have spent my rent money on if my mom was battling an, an addiction and she doing shit that she ain't supposed to be doing. Like, it has to be a legitimate reason as to why you need me to bail your ass out. Sorry, mom. You know I'm there for you and everything. Thank God my mom isn't like that. She isn't on drugs. She ain't out there stealing. My mom goes and pays for her shit. Side note. Mariah's bun. I'm gonna need for her to lay her hair back down. She looks horrible with her hair up. If it's like up in that bun and it, all her edges and stuff were pulled, she looks horrible. She's arguing with her mom and, you know, like, I had to spend my rent money. I had to leave my session. My career is on the line here. You making me leave just to come bail you out of jail and stuff. And then her mom was like, well, I got bad news. And she was like, what could be possibly worse than this? And she was like, I'm pregnant. And Mariah was like, you got to be kidding me here. Get the fuck out of here. She was like, I'm going to have to end up taking care of this baby if you keep going down the road that you're going on. And Bianca and Cardi B are at this Zumba class. And I done had it up to here with Bianca. Why did you go to a Zumba class with no clothes on? Like, okay, I understand your little sports bra. That's cute or whatever. But your bottoms. You, you act like you was fucking Beyonce on stage, bitch. Like, come on. You could have thrown on some pants. You could have you could have put on something, with, something like what Cardi B had on. You ain't need to put on all of that. That was not cute. I did not like it. So she talks to Cardi and tells Cardi, like, can you come to this etiquette class with me? Because Yandy feels as though I need to do etiquette. And, Ke and Cardi was like, yeah, of course. She was like, because my manager had tried to send me to this uh, speech class or whatever because he claimed I got an accent. I feel like I talk proper, popular. So <laughs> that girl is so crazy. But I love me some Cardi B because she's keeping it 100. She hasn't changed from Instagram. The only thing different is like she just reading a script. She just doing, you know, getting out there, getting that sh money. And I don't blame her. Tretch and Lexi. Now, Lexi goes to talk to uh, Trench. Trench, Trench, whatever. She went to go talk to him and he is Mo's father's friend. She talks to him about what her and Mo been going through and he just lets her know, maybe you want to talk to her dad and maybe her dad can talk to her, talk some sister to her. If that doesn't work, then you got to do what you got to do. And if going solo is what you got to do, then so be it. Amina and Peter's daughter. Now, Amina and Peter's daughter, they're like, she, Amina says they're more like friends. And she says she loved that girl to death. And she tells her about the problems that her and Peter been having. And she was like, did you know your dad and, and Tara was sleeping together? again and she was like well you know that's my dad and she just let her know like my dad has always been like that she said he's a really good guy but when it comes to women he's a horrible guy and she said he tells me all the time I don't want you to have a man like me and she's like she feels as though okay if you don't want me to have a man like you then you need to show me how a man is supposed to treat a woman. He's just not doing that, which I could side with, girl. Yeah, you you hit it right on the head right there. So Amina tells her that she was pregnant and she got an abortion. The girl was like, you know, taken aback a little bit and she let her know why she got an abortion. She said, I can't bring another baby into this world when your father isn't really being there for us like that. The girl was like, she support her 100%. They get up and hug. And that right there, that made me feel so much for Amina because to have a bond with his child. I ain't never seen Tar with a Peter or other kids. I never have seen that. I never even seen Tar with that girl, his daughter. So, like, that made me respect Amina much more. And that shows that how much she did love Peter to get to try to know his kids. Bianca and Cardi shows up to Tara's etiquette class. Tara asks Cardi, why do you feel as though you need this class? My manager feels like I need some training or whatever. I could be at the at this little event with my manager or whatever. And it could be a whole bunch of people willing to work with me or whatever. But if I see somebody that I don't like, I just want to pop out. I thought what was funny was when Cardi was trying to hold the little teacup and her nails were too long and 
Tara about to have a heart attack. Like, bitch, don't break my shit. Tara starts to talk about Cardi and what she got on. And she was just saying, like, your breasts are out. And if you were to go to a meeting, you wouldn't want to wear something like this because they wouldn't be looking here. They will be looking here. And Cardi was like, well, see, I got crooked teeth or whatever. And I don't want them looking at my teeth. I'd rather for them to stare at my titty. <laughs> Tara goes on to talk about if they want to work on their speech, they want to exercise their tongue. So Cardi, stupid self, going to say, well, see, my man is incarcerated and I haven't worked my tongue in a long time. <laughs> and I'm surprised Tara didn't catch the shade when they were doing, you know, tongue thing and opening your mouth. When Cardi was like, let me see how wide your mouth stretch. Tara gets them to do an interview, pretend as if they were interviewing each other. So Cardi is interviewing Bianca. And Bianca was like, I'm a trapper. I'm doing, for some reason, I feel as though Bianca is faking. She's fake. I feel like that is not who she really is. She put on for the cameras and I don't like it. Girl, you was chicken noodle soup. Why are you at it so ratchet? And if you really wanted to take your career to the next level and get out that 10 year hole that you're in, then why in the fuck aren't you acting like it? Like somebody who really wants something wouldn't be acting like this. And I'm gonna need for Bianca to get it together. Mariah Lynn and her mother. She takes her mom to court. Her mom was fit to go ahead and say that she was guilty so Mariah could get her $800 back. Mariah was upset. She was like, she couldn't let her mom do that. So the, jo the judge was lenient on her and was like, you know what? After you have the baby, then you come to jail. You turn yourself in. I can respect Mariah Lynn on this half. And I kind of see why she is the way she is because she really didn't have no mom. Your mom is out here 90 some years old and still fucking around on drugs and making babies. I'm going to need for that to quit. Lexi and DB, Mo's dad, have start talking about Mo. Now Lexi had came to their house. He, she's telling them like what happened. I guess he wasn't there when the altercation happened between mo and mariah she's letting him know about mo and was like she doesn't listen it's all about mo mo's all about herself right about now and he was like that girl head so big you couldn't even fit it through a door i feel as though that's a sign right there lexi for you to do what you need to do and then up pops um mo and her mama and side no side no why is it Mo making her mom go get her hair done? And why is DB letting his wife walk out the house like that? It hurt. You know how, like, when you, um, people try to make edges. She had in a drawstring ponytail with some regular smeggler gel, and she pulled it down like that and tried to make one of them sideburns, honey. It was ugly. I did not like it. I'm need for, if you're living in a house like that, why the fuck you can't go and get your hair did? And I don't like how more her professionals made it seem like Lexi was coming over to fuck her daddy. No, that wasn't the case, bitch. They were going, she came over so she could talk about you. Mo walks in and she's like, what's going on here? And Lexi was like, I came to talk to your father alone about you because I can't come through. I can't talk to you. And she was like, why you feel as though you can't talk to me? If you have a problem, you can come talk to me. No, Mo, can't, she can't come talk to you. The last time she tried to talk to you or every time that she has tried to talk to you, you either... One trying to hear it, or you got up and walked away. I wouldn't be trying to... Matter of fact, if I was Lexi, I think I would have did what Rod said and just leave. I don't even think I would have went to her dad. But Lexi is a very loyal friend. And Mo's going to lose out on a very loyal friend if she keeps doing this stupid shit. So Lexi and Mo, they're going back and forth. And her dad steps in and was like, you making everything about you. Y'all are a group. It's not I. All It's not I. It's we. And her mom, you're causing a controversy between them two. Shut your fat titty ass up. But Lexi gets fed up and was like, I'm done. I'm out of it. I'm solo. I'm going to do my own shit from now on. And Mo was like, bye bye. And that's how everything went. Like, you guys, let me know what y'all thought of this episode. I'm going to need for them to bring Remy and Pat back. Like, I can't wait until the next episode because I get to see Remy. And I get my life from her and Yandy and Pat and Mandisi's. I really do. And I... Those are my favorite two. Those are my favorite couples on this show, and I just love it. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. 
like this video and subscribe if you didn't hit that subscribe button at the beginning of the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to love, laugh, and live. Hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you guys in the next one.